Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Rashid Nedmetinov and Enrico Paoli. This game was played in Bucharest, Romania in 1954. Play with black pieces in this game. Enrico Paoli was Italian champion. Rashid Nedmetinov started with e4. Enrico Paoli played c5. The Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, d6, d4. C takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6. Knight to c3, a6. The Nidor variation of the Sicilian defense. Bishop to g5, the standard move. e6, white to move. Nejmet Tino played queen to f3. f4 is the most played move. Queen to f3, bishop to e7 and pinning, and Nedmetino castle the queen side. Queen to c7, rook to g1, preparing g4 and g5. Bishop to d7, g4, knight to c6, bishop to e3 because the plan is to play g5. h6, h4. This is definitely discouraging. Enrico Paoli from castling kingside, but he's not worried about that. He even doesn't want to castle. He had a plan of his own attack on the queen side. g5, h takes on g5, h takes on g5. Knight to e5 attacking the queen. And now Nedmetino played queen to g2. Important move. Knight to g8, what else? f4. Attacking the knight, knight to c4, bishop takes on c4, queen takes on c4. Black is intending to create a pawn storm on the queen side and crush white king to pieces. So, white must act quickly. f5, b5, if e5 then knight to b3 b5 intending b4, king to b1, b4, attacking the knight. What is the best square for the knight? What would you do? Most players would move the knight to a safe spot. Do you agree? Not Nedmetinov. He played g6. This is a brilliant move. Allowing black to take the knight, but the offer was not accepted. e5 was played. If b takes on c3, then g takes on f7 check. It's better for the king not to take the pawn because queen takes on g7. King to d8, queen takes on g7 and white is winning. Back to our game. e5 was played. White to move. Which knight to save? What would you do? Now comes even a bigger surprise. Nedmetino didn't save any knight. He played b3. And what is defending the knight on c3? This looks like a blunder. Do you agree? Queen takes knight and then queen takes bishop on e3. Well, Enrico Pauli accepted offer. Queen takes on c3 was played. Why did Nedmetinov sacrifice the knight? Let's take it back. If in this position, white plays pawn takes pawn on f7 check, then queen takes on f7, and black is holding. That is why Nedmetinov sacrificed the knight, to deflect the queen from defending f7 square. So in this position, queen takes on c3, and now pawn takes on f7. There is no queen to take the pawn. King to d8. Well, if king takes on f7, then queen takes on g7 with check. So we have a king to d8, queen takes on g7, 
e takes on d4 threatening pawn takes bishop or maybe even queen takes bishop bishop takes on d4 queen takes on c2 check king to a1 rook to h2 threatening queen takes pawn on a2 checkmate and how to defend the pawn on a2 the pawn on a2 can't be defended so how would you continue you have to look for checks and captures can you see a good check Nel Bettino played bishop to b6 check rook to c7 white played the move and black resigned what would you do i guess pawn takes knight check promoting to queen comes to mind do you agree it's possible Ned Martino played queen takes knight on g8 check and enrico paoli resigned in view of this continuation bishop to e8 queen takes bishop check mate Rashid Nedvedinov had very aggressive attacking style. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.